Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Patreon podcast. This week, I wanted to talk about the idea of seeds and sprouts. Um, this is something that I kind of have been thinking about over the past couple months, uh, because this year I was kind of messing around with growing plants. I grew some pepper plants, which was a lot of fun. Um, and now I'm trying to currently keep them alive in my basement throughout the Minnesota winter, which is mostly unsuccessful, but you know, that's another story. Um, one thing that I found really interesting with growing seeds is when they start to sprout, they, um, all kind of look the same. Um, like between the pepper plants that I was growing and the kind of weeds and other things that were kind of growing around it, I had a hard time telling which was which until they had more time to cultivate and grow and form. And I think that there's a lot of kind of a parody with that as, as it goes with like creative ideas as well. Um, where it's something that, you know, when you have an idea, like it kind of is this amorphous, blob that can go in a lot of different directions and it takes time and care and like nurturing to to figure out like which direction it's going and you don't know if it's going to be a uh, like a plant like a vegetable or a tree or a weed until <clears throat> you give it a chance to grow a little bit more um and that's one of the reasons why when I'm doing like a 2 hour track challenge or making anything like I try to stick with it a little bit longer than I think that I should. If if it's if it's not working out. Like one of those things where like if the piano's not working, like if I'm starting a song and the chord progression just isn't vibing with me, like I still push it a little bit longer than I think that um it it needs just to see if I can if I can get it to grow into something that I'd like. Because if I snip it too early, I don't know where it's going to end up. Um <clears throat> but I think that it's it's important to have that kind of awareness and realize that sometimes, you know, it it takes a while for this stuff to grow. And I I really like this analogy, but I don't I don't fully know how <laughs> relevant it is to music or or art art production in general. I just really like the idea that everything kind of starts out the same and it takes time for you to figure out what exactly it's turning into. Um, because ideas can come very easily, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're all good or worth worthwhile or worth the time to cultivate. Um, but I, I do think that that little extra time at the beginning, just to see if that's something that's going to go somewhere is really important. And <clears throat> when I started making music like a long time ago, I tore through like five or six ideas every day I would sit down I'd, I'd write something out that sounds kind of neat and then I'd spend another extra couple minutes like messing around with it and be like oh I can't go anywhere from this so I just kind of chuck it into the bin um and th this was back when I was using FL studio but I have um I have probably hundreds of failed ideas in those FL studio folders where I just didn't have the patience or possibly the knowledge to cultivate a, a song idea into something worthwhile. And it's like, I'm never going to go back to those. Like it would, it would make kind of a fun stream though, but it's, it's one of those things where it's just like, why, why invest the time going through all these old ideas that could have been something when I could just make new ideas. Um, but yeah, it's just, it, it can be really, it can be really hard to push through those extra like five or 10 minutes on something that you don't think is going to go anywhere, but sometimes it really does pay off. Um, there have been times on stream where I was getting frustrated with a song and then uh, either somebody had a suggestion or I just hit the wrong note on the piano and all of a sudden things just kind of click together and I'm like, oh, okay, that's what this song wants to be. And then we can move forward from that. And that kind of awareness and that ability to be a little bit extra, like a little bit more patient, um, can really pay off. Um, but it also, and this is going to go into the topic for next week. Um, it also is important to know when to pull the plug on something too. So, um, that's, that's a whole nother topic, um, that I wanted to get into a little bit more, but I think 
at first I wanted to talk about how important it is to continue to try to nurture something, even though you don't know if it's going to make it. Um, just like my plants in the basement, like I'm going to keep watering them and you know, if their leaves all fall off and they die, that's too bad. And then, you know, I'll, I'll preserve some of the seeds that I've collected over the years or over the year. And I'll just start over next year when it's warm out. But if I can preserve it throughout the winter, it's going to be a stronger plant because of it. And then I can bring it back outside and I'm sure it'll thrive. So, you know, it's not a whole lot of extra work on my part. And the payoff is potentially really important for me because I like peppers. Peppers are delicious. So that's all I have. That's the takeaway for the, for this week. Peppers are delicious. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like when you're working on a project and you're getting frustrated with it, it kind of goes to last week as well. If you're getting frustrated on it, with it, maybe walk away for a little bit and uh, come back to it and see how you feel then. Um, and I would just consider just pushing a little bit more with it and just seeing where that sprout is going to blossom and like where it's going to grow. Because again, it might be nourishing like a vegetable or it could be, um, really strong and powerful like a tree, or it could just end up being a weed that needs to be pulled. So, you know, there's, there's a lot to think about there, but something to keep in mind when you're working. As always, thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. I really genuinely do appreciate it. I hope that you have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you in the next one. Be remarkable.